the Music Liberation Orchestra's melodies create more than sweet sounds at the Philadelphia Detention Center. The harmonies reached by these imprisoned men direct them inward toward treasures buried in forgotten places. The words of the immortal Ozzie Davis are true, that any form of art is a form of power. It has impact. It can change us, it can move us, and it can make us move. That's what I Music release my stress. And ever since, ever since I've been back on the drums, I ain't had no problem. No violence, and my temper has calmed down. Just two days after being released, MLO musician Martez Pope connected with Art Sanctuary's Loreen Carey. Oh, it's so good to see you. Yeah, always, man. I just, it's so good to see you. Loreen has led discussions and inspired journal writing by Martez and other inmates in weekly music liberation orchestra circles held at the jail. Giving them um, mental and emotional tools to come up with strategies to be the kind of men they want to be for their families. It's helped prepare Martez for life after his difficult past. You know, I'm just getting acclimated back to the community. Um, I, like this thing. I, don't know, I feel liberated, actually. Trombonist Brent White, who also teaches in the MLO circle, believes journals the jailed men keep help their journeys to liberation and redemption. Burning is chaos. A fire is warm. He too keeps a journal. My first journal entry was about my grandmother. Sentimental thing about what my grandmother has meant to me for my life. The warden has deemed the journal's sacred property, only to be accessed by the inmate author, off limits to prison staff. Therapist Marilyn Johnson, who also journals, says they offer refuge for self-exploration and growth. When a journal is kept, there's an intimate conversation that begins to happen with the self. As that flow begins to happen, you know things that you thought you didn't know, or you had no idea that you knew. Ideas about the self, ideas about how you interact with the world began to emerge. Trumpeter Hannibal Lacumbe founded the Music Liberation Orchestra. He is writing Can You Hear God Crying for a December performance at the Kimmel Center. The piece suggests God's heart aches when we walk away from our humanity. You know, that's the kind of thing that changes you forever to, to, to realize that the Creator needs you, Ooh, that the Creator would say to you, that I need you. Perhaps the notes played here and behind bars strike chords that could help any of us access helpful tools to stake powerful and positive claims in our own lives.